All right, today we're here to talk about whether Arena Breakout Infinite is pay to play or is it really not that big of a deal? Arena Breakout seems to be pay to win. That's what it's that's what it's seeming to be. We describe as ultra deceptive greed. So yeah, Arena Breakout is, is incredibly pay to win like we thought it was going to be. I figured with all of the anger and all of the, the outrage of like, you know, people talking about the situation and like trying to get through to the developers, maybe they'll do something different and they just didn't. To drop and Tencent was going to heavily monetize this game. Well, they sure did. They sure did. They sure did. Short answer is maybe. Now I know this is gonna be a controversial take, I know it making the video, but hear me out and then throw your hate down in the comments. It's fine. But if you're willing to come at me with a open mind and listen, here's where it, why I don't think it's as big of a deal as a lot of PC players are making it out to be. I know that PC takes a hard stance on not being pay to play and I get it. And let me just start out by saying that I don't like it, nor do I support it, but I don't think it's as big of a deal as everyone's making it out to be. With that being said, I do think it's lazy monetization, especially when the devs have subscriptions, they got battle passes, they got uh, skins and outfits. It's just a lazy way to monetize the game by buying in-game currency, the Cohen, and I get it. But with that being said, I don't think it's as big of a deal as everyone's making out to be, right? Sorry if you don't like all this hand movement. Now hear me out, in Escape from Tarkov, I understand you Choose the map you go into and you're just, you're stuck in with everyone. It doesn't matter what tier they have, whether it's a, a scav run, whether it's low tier or high tier, you're all just, you choose the map and you're all put into that map, right? And this is where there's nuance, I would say, because yeah, I get where buying Cohen and going into a match with random difficulty could be an issue, right? But in Arena Breakout, there's three different difficulties, right? Okay, so you have normal, lockdown, and forbidden, okay? And the way that you should come at this is thinking, what am I preparing for? In normal, you're gonna be wearing P3, P4, uh, maybe less, maybe come to naked, who knows? You go into lockdown, you're gonna be wearing T4, T5, right? And if you pick forbidden, you're gonna prepare for T5 and T6. So whether someone bought their gear or not, you're probably gonna be a fair match. That's not saying that you're not gonna get a T5, T6, Timmy coming into normal, I mean, I'd suggest that they make a max ceiling on each mode. That way that you know that you're not going to face this dude who bought T6 and he's coming into normal just to push people around. But even then, I mean, what for? What, okay, you came in and you killed some T3, dude. You're not making money. You're going to buy that high tier gear. You're going to go to Forbidden or Lockdown. When you go to Forbidden or Lockdown, you're going to wear the exact tier that I said you're going to be wearing. So that's where I think some nuance comes into it. In, in Arena Breakout, you're going to know what you're preparing for it, and it's going to be a pretty fair fight. I get it. Okay, he bought his gear. You earned your gear. But if he had to buy... I, I know you guys are sick and tired of this, this argument, but if he had to buy his gear, do you think he's better than the guy who earned his gear? I get it. I get it. It's, you guys are tired of hearing that, that excuse, but it's true. You played for your gear. You know how to use what you're using. He bought his gear. He's probably not going to be able to use it to the max extent. You know how to use utility better. You know how to do recoil control better. And you know exactly what you're going to be able to handle with that armor. So I firmly believe that some guy who bought his gear versus some guy who earned his gear, you're gonna you're gonna probably do better. I know you're tired of that argument, but that's just the way I see it. Feel free to comment down below, blame me all you want, but that's just how I feel. I just want to take a moment and let you guys know about the merch that's come out. I made a collection called the Kimona Chibi Warriors. This collection is time limited until the end of October. It's lightweight fabric, super soft. I got one for myself, my wife, and my boys, and the whole family loves them. I even made a concerted effort to have Australia and Southeast Asia options with cheaper shipping. I highly suggest you go check them out. It's a way that you can buy something for yourself while supporting me as well. And with the purchase, I will send you a personalized thank you message. Let's get on with it. Now, if it's a concern about you yourself making Cohen fast enough, uh, just within the level one through 15, I've earned like over a million pretty easy. Not It wasn't even that challenging. On top of that, they're gonna have a lot of missions, a lot of weeklies. And then on top of that, they're gonna probably have events just like they do in mobile. If you check deep four times a day, you're gonna get good deals and build up that Cohen quick as well. Uh, all these are good ways to earn Cohen. You can do as many scabs as you want. So, I mean, personally, I think there's a lot of ways you can earn Cohen, just put in the time and you just enjoy playing. I don't 
don't think it's going to affect you making Cohen. And with that being said, I didn't want to lead in with this, but on mobile, there is plenty of evidence that shows that anyone who purchased Cohen, like it doesn't affect how we play or who we play. I'm telling you, when we get in a fight and we die to someone, I had never within the two years playing mobile, have I ever heard, oh, I bet he purchased his, his Cohen. Oh, I bet he purchased his gear. Like I said, because you have those different modes, you know what you're going up against. And it's just more about who plays better, who plays better strategically, who does better gunplay, who knows how to use it, your, you use utility and who knows how to play as a squad better. Never have we ever played normal lockdown or forbidden and died and been like, oh, he had to have purchased his gear. Oh my gosh, this is so dumb. Like I, we, I've just never heard it, never. So with that being said, I think mobile has had enough data for the devs to support that in the end with these nuances, it's not going to affect the PVP aspect of it. But also let me leave you with this. Again, I don't personally support the buying of Cohen. I think it's stupid personally. I think it's easy enough to get in-game currency without having to purchase it. I feel like when we die, we more so blame the rats that are probably wearing T3, T4 with dum-dums that are just ratting the whole game. That, that has always been our annoyance. That's always been our... Ugh! It hasn't been, oh, someone else purchased their gear. It's the freaking rats who don't move and just use low tier gear and just hide and he shoots you with the dum-dums. <laughs> now, I don't feel like, you know, let me leave you with this. I, I have loved the devs for the last two years. They've been great. Call me a fanboy, but I don't, if they feel like that's the way that they need to monetize, then it, it's not that bad. Check out Hutch and just see what he looted out one way. The pay to winners are making Hutch rich. Yes, sir. And I will continue to take their money. Invest in your kids. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take your investment. <laughs> Pay to lose, mother. You are, gamer. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm just selling a couple things. Oh my gosh. 100K for the Spectre sides. Jesus.